Hi guys, welcome to this video tutorial for Xtool P2. Today we will show you how to replace the power supply of the laser tube. Note, if you accidentally move the laser tube during replacement, you may need to recalibrate the laser path. Click the link in the top right corner to see how to calibrate the laser path. This video has four parts. In the first part, we will tell you how to take off the external covers and plates. Then, we will show you how to remove the power supply of the laser tube. In the third part, we will guide you on how to install a new one. In the fourth part, we will show you how to put all the parts back on. You'll need these tools or alternatives to finish the job. The 2-in-1 screwdriver that comes with the machine. A pair of scissors. A cable tie. Okay, let's dive right in. Disconnect the power supply of the machine. Use the hex head of the screwdriver to remove the five screws on the rear upper cover. Then open the lid to remove the six screws on the inner side. Remove the rear upper cover. Pinch the fastening ring to remove the smoke exhaust pipe. Use the hex head to remove the six screws on the rear plate. Remove the rear plate. Remove the connection cable of the rear plate. Press down the connector of the air tube and take it out. Unplug the connection cable of the fan. Remove the rear plate. Use the cross head to remove the six screws on the front plate. Then take off the plate. Use the cross head to remove the three screws on the right upper cover. Then remove the two screws on the inner side. Remove the cover and its connection cable. Use the hex head to remove the three screws at the back of the right plate. Remove the two screws on the front side of the plate. Remove the three screws at the bottom of the right plate. Remove the plate and the emergency stop button. Disconnect the control cable from the power supply of the laser tube. Use the cross head to remove the three screws fixing the cables. Gently take off the silicone sleeve from the laser tube. Be careful not to move the laser tube during the operation. Put the tip of the screwdriver on the screw of the positive pole and stay that way. Then, make the shaft touch the metal plate of the machine. This discharges the static electricity. Remove the screw of the positive pole. Pull out the positive cable. Remove the screw of the negative pole. Cut the cable fixing the negative cable. Pull out the cable. Use the hex head to remove the four screws fixing the power supply. Remove the power supply of the laser tube. Take out the new power supply for replacement. 
Thread the negative cable through the hole in the plate near the laser tube. Put the replacement power supply into the machine. Fix the four screws of the power supply. Plug the control cable into the power supply. Use the crosshead to fix the three screws of the cables. Thread the positive cable through the hole in the silicon cover on the laser tube. Fix the positive cable on the left side of the laser tube. Pass the negative cable from beneath to the upper side at the rear of the laser tube. Organize and fix the cables with the cable tie. Cut off the excess length. Fix the negative cable on the right side of the laser tube. Carefully fit the silicon sleeve on the laser tube. Install the right plate and connect the emergency stop switch. Use the hex head, and install the three screws, back to the back side of the right plate. Install the two screws on the front of the plate. Install the three screws at the bottom of the right plate. Be sure to align the position and install the right upper cover. Use the crosshead to install the three screws on the right upper cover. Install the two screws on the inner side of the cover. Connect the air tube to the rear plate. Make sure the air tube doesn't get pressed and kinked when installing the rear plate. If it is kinked, cut off the segment and reinstall the air tube. Install the corresponding cables to the plate. Then place the rear plate back. Use the hex head to install the six screws on the rear plate. Install the smoke exhaust pipe. Install the six screws on the front plate. Use the hex head to install the five screws on the rear upper cover. Then open the lid to install six screws inside. Now it's done, you've finished the replacement of the power supply of the laser tube. We hope this video is helpful. Feel free to contact the X-Tool support team if you have any questions.